My original idea for stone balancing came when I thought about making some anthropomorphic figures out of stone. And the idea was to have two figures who were friendly with each other and then one who was being ostracised. I set them up in such a way that they were standing against the coastline and obviously to make a, a figure I used one stone as a torso and then another stone as a head. And it was through that where I realised that stones would balance in quite interesting ways and quite unusual ways and so I started to experiment. The more interesting the shape, the, the more I'll like it. I'll also think of what, what two stones will complement each other so I'll find a base rock and I'll think, right, well that's a really interesting curvaceous shape. Let's find something that'll go on there, either another very curvy or sinuous stone or maybe one that's going to be quite incongruous and angular. So um, it's just, you know, I look for inspiration in the rocks. What I found is that I always get a reaction from people who see my work. And that's the main thing, you know. It'd be terrible if you, if you made some art and it got no reaction at all. So what, what I love is the fact that there is always a reaction. Um, and I find that even though it's really a very simplistic thing in so much that there are just two stones balanced together, it can have a huge impact. For me, it's like creating a beautiful sculpture and a lot of people see that as well, you know, that they see the beauty and the balance and the paradox of the fragility and the solidity. Um, but then other people see different things in it. A, a lot of men in particular, they look at it from a, a more of a, a physics point of view. Um, some people get quite spiritual about it, some people find it calming and therapeutic. Um, so there's all different sorts of reactions, but there is always a reaction, and that's what I love about it.